Police in Washington County executed a search warrant today in connection to a big rig theft ring that involves at least five different states. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez was on the scene as deputies searched through the home of Curtis Reed. And that story for you is first at four. Washington County deputies executed a search warrant at this McIntosh home. They say the man who lives here is one of their prime suspects in an elaborate big rig theft ring. We are seizing all hard drives, thumb drives, and uh, anything else that might be of value in this investigation. Curtis Reed was arrested Friday in McIntosh. Deputies combed through every inch of his home, looking for traces of stolen property, trailers, and truck parts, and they may have found it. This tag was taken from the dump trailer, which is another piece of equipment that we recovered this morning. Sheriff Richard Stringer says some of the vehicles and mechanical equipment on the property are also believed to have been stolen. Well, it's been painted and uh, new wiring is Investigators say VIN numbers have been scraped off a number of these trailers. Sheriff Stringer believes Reed was fixing up these trailers to sell or strip for their parts. He says tips led them to that residence in the first place. Deputies say once word got out that Reed was planning on moving the vehicles to hide them in Mississippi, deputies camped out and waited for him to make a move. He was found in the truck. So that's. That, that's about as good as you can get is catching someone in a stolen truck. Of course, he's denying all the rest, but we'll have our day in court and we'll prove it. Investigators say they have five large pieces of equipment and trucks, but they're investigating at least four others. Deputies say this theft ring stretches from Texas to Louisiana, Mississippi, even Tennessee. Sheriff Stringer doesn't believe Reed did this alone. The feds have agreed to come in and work with us on this because I think it's uh, a very large ring. Reporting in McIntosh, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. Sheriff Stringer says the owner of one of those stolen trailers is coming down from Laurel, Mississippi to identify it. The sheriff says it's worth an estimated $35,000.